Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. When we last left off, we were generally just exploring the castle. And I was taking a lot of damage, to be honest. But let's move, because we've got a boss to deal with. A really cool boss as well, I might add. Certainly one of my more favorite ones. Now, luckily, this place <laughs> seems to be significantly easier this time round. That guy seems to be almost no match for us whatsoever. So that's that linked up, that corridor. Let's go take this guy. Now, I also have to emphasize on just how freaking good this music is here. It actually reminds me of like a score that you would hear in a game like Shenmue. Absolutely wonderful. Anyway, enough about that. Let's make tracks up and come through here. Find ourselves a nice big heart. Uh, did we find an item there? No, I don't think so. We're going to go into the jagged stairway now. And this jagged stairway, oof. It's a little bit different since last we were here. Ooh. There is some new foes. Some old foes. These assholes that really do nothing for us. We have these goth snipers, which they're not too bad. But they certainly can be little tricksters. And these demons here. Can't remember what these are called. Imps. Yeah, these imps are kind of a pain in the ass. Now, this is such a cool little contraption. As we can see in the castle. Now, they have these upside down carriages. Kind of very reminiscent of something that you'd find in Resident Evil 4. But a few swipes of our mighty blade. We'll get rid of these guys, unless that happens. And, well, that does happen. Sometimes it happens too often. We're going to need a lot of health for our next encounter. As I said, really cool boss coming up. I really enjoyed fighting him. It took me a while to get the strategy down, because he's a bit of a trickster. Got a diamond. We'll have it. Now. Sounds like we've got another one of those contraptions in here. Some more TNT. And a luck potion. Don't mind if I do. Now that guy's just called an archer, interestingly enough. Now he does have another attack. Where he will attack in like every direction at once. Yeah, that's not fun. <laughs> but it's very difficult to avoid. But we'll get there. Wow, there's more of these guys than I thought, actually. I certainly enjoy this room a lot more second time round. Nice little heart upgrade. Not going to kick one of those out of bed. Now. Anything left. Got a Zekron, which we'll have. And of course, we haven't completely fully explored this place. There's always something left. Now remember, we've got to try and hit everything that we possibly can so we can get that completion rating up to 200%. I believe it's 206% is the actual 100% completion in this game, but uh, I know there's some like trickery involved with getting that, so we may not. But we're certainly going to try and go for 200. There we go. That's that completed now. We're not going to fight that guy. He's worthless. He's uh, completely pointless, including the amount of experience he's worth. It's just a waste of our time. So, onwards and upwards. To glorious battle. You know, when we, when we finally get there. Okay. Another heart expansion. Certainly have you. If we go this way, a glorious save point. 
We're going to be taking advantage of as many of these as we possibly can. Now, let's continue. Come on, sword friend. Let's go find some meat to sink you into. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of meat to sink this guy into before the night's over. Holy water. You know what, actually? As much as I like that holy water, I actually think it will be beneficial for us with this next boss to take the gun. Um, I mean, that could work, but nah. Now. You know, we have just saved it. Let's go do the boss. So, our next foe is Belzebub. And this guy is a giant rotten corpse who actually has... No real threat to us, apart from its flies. These rotting flies, they, yeah, as you can see, they really hurt. And they have a fairly predictable little attack pattern. They're going to launch themselves all at us, and then they're going to be gone. And whilst that happens, we're going to try and come out of our mist form and swipe. But the problem we have here is it is very difficult to try and gauge when to come out of that because the game slows down to the point where you can count every single frame. So the game becomes very unresponsive at that time. Now, I'm not sure. Ah, we can actually hit Bills above now with that move. That's what I was kind of hoping for, to be honest. Because these guys are what's going to really ruin our day. These flies. There's probably a way more efficient way of doing this. But I haven't found it. And you can also see that he really is not having a great time himself when you look at the kind of pathetic... Oh, we got him. The pathetic husk of a demon that he has become. But his reign of tyranny is now over. Dispatched. Thrown out like a shovel full of shit into the abyss by our good old friend Alucard here. Now, in here, we get the Ring of Arcania. Now, this ring is interesting. Um, I'm going to swap it out for the MP restoration rate ring. And this uh, just increases rare item drop rates. I don't know by how much or if it's really worth it, but we're going to take it. Now, if we come out here, we can actually get ourselves another save point, which is probably a good idea, considering... And that save point is... Is there no enemies in this room? Curious. We're going to need this one. I had way more trouble with that boss before, I'll be honest. Um, I spent a not insignificant amount of time trying to come up with a strategy that seems to work against him. But a little bit of brute force and ignorance... And we soon had the best of him. These gremlins. Well, you don't want to know what I'd rather do to these gremlins. It ain't pleasant for them. Maybe it is. They're demons. Okay, so let's have a little look on the map here. I believe... We do have some nice little goodies. But... Here we go. Got a hell of a lot of imps flying around. You son of a bitch. There we go. We've got a luck potion. And there's the goddess shield. Now, is the goddess shield any good? I hear you ask. Well, I'm not sure. Actually. So where is that? There it is. The goddess shield. 
engraved with the goddess image. Yep, I'm sure it probably is. I have no reason to believe otherwise. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Deeper into this accursed castle. Uh, this is going to suck when we come out of this. But <laughs> that's fine. We'll just cheese it. So, what foul demons lay ahead? We've actually got another save point just above us. Okay. So these are lesser demons. These aren't too much to write home about. we have pretty sure we fought these guys before. They have nothing more than wheat before the scythe. Now this lesser demon, I assume is a little bit more terrifying, but again, didn't really resist our onslaught that much. Now let's go back this way, because in here, we have some things we really want to grab. That didn't go as planned. Oh no, we've got the bloody knife now. I don't like the knife, although we haven't tried it for a very long time. Maybe it's better now. Now we've got a lot more levels under our belt. I guess could probably... No, it can't break that. That's curious. All right, whatever. Let's come up here and grab ourselves another item. It is... Ba ba ba! The katana. Don't we already have a katana? Pretty sure we do. Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, I guess Masamune is a more powerful katana. But whatever, another item got. Let's try and remove the demon scourge from this room. I'm coming for you, bitch. There you go. Give me your coins. Not happy with the fact that we don't have uh, a decent backup weapon. All right, still can't be helped. Now, we do have some more meat on the bone of this area, to be honest. Salem Witch. God damn it, more like Salem Bitch. Come here, you. Oh, she dropped cake. I mean, I guess we can't be too mad at her for delivering us such a delectable treat. Now. Hmm. So if we keep going down, grab that bag of scratch. Am I remembering secrets correctly? I may be. I may not be. Uh, this is a fun room. Yeah, those bitter flies suck because they're invisible. And they only show up when you attack uh, enemies. They probably also show up uh, if you use the glasses. But I just can't be asked to swap those out and put them back on. Now, if we go down, I believe it's the... Ooh, son of a bitch. I knew that was there as well. Nope. Not today, Satan. Maybe tomorrow, though. But only if you ask nice. Okay. Oof. Oof. And in this room is another... Oh, no, it's not this room. It's in the next one. There is another upgrade. A life upgrade. Just what the doctor ordered. Were it so easy. Okay. Right, back into this room again with the nice invisible enemies that we love. Because that's always fun. And of course, we'd start off surrounded by them. Ooh, more Salem bitches. I mean, who doesn't love a good witch? But these guys have got no chill. 
Ow. I mean, honestly, woman. Back to hell with you. Okay. Let's continue. Oof. Forgot about that. More Salem bitches. Bitches from Salem. Uh, ah, that just links back up. Very nice. That was a very successful little item run, actually. Quite happy with that. Now, I think, yeah, we want to come up here. You know what? I'm going to kill you. Just because it brings me more joy than you will ever know. To snuff your life from existence. And save room. You're damn right we're going to give it a save. Now, have we? So, let's take a little look at this map here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's keep moving. Back to the Salem bitch. I hope your death was excruciatingly painful. Ooh. Oh, she's dropped money, man. Money! Oof. Hey, $50 is $50, you know what I mean? Ain't nobody leaving that on the floor. There are certain things I don't mind leaving for the roaches. 50 bucks ain't one of them. God knows what a roach would do with money. Oof. Uh oh. Okay. Damn you, bitter bastard bug. Okay. There was another one. I know it. You know it. We all saw it. At least I'm pretty sure I did. Fuck you, Salem bitch. Are we close to leveling yet? <sighs> Come sit on my sword. And you, you little gremlin bastard. Oh, son of a... Damn you! Gremlins and imps, oh my! Oh, she had to get the last laugh in. Typical woman. Ooh. Fire mail. Why not, right? Okay. We're gravy. All gravy, baby. All gravy. 50 bucks. Ah. We have missed a door. Going down. Well, it'd be rude for us to leave it. I think it only has a high potion in it or something. Pretty sure it's a high potion or something that's not super useful. Bitch! Yeah. Ah, god damn it. Who let these women in here? Anyway! This is not the place for a lady, really. You know what? I'm going to kill you guys. Because you're demons. And the only good demon is a dead demon. Unless his name's John. Okay. Yes, we're very close to leveling. Although, with the paltry amount of XP these guys give us. Not close enough. Oh, you're a fire demon. Okay. Mayhaps that demon did not have enough fire. These things look cool as well. They look really cool. We leveled. How much XP do they give us then? I'm guessing a pretty good amount. Let's go find out, shall we? I don't mind demons if he's giving me XP, I'll be honest. So, we have 9847. 
Nine eight. Oh, okay, so yeah, it does give us a amount, but it's not a huge amount. Son of a bitch. Honestly. Dracula, if you can't keep your demons under control, mate, we're going to have to sort them out. Ooh, where do you come from? That was cute. That was very cute. I can see many a demon here. Now, I have a mana prism? Sure. But what I would like, more than anything else, is a save room. And there, actually, is one just over here. Whoa! Demon! Stay your hand, beast! Now, let's... One-on-one, -on -one, me fool. Yeah. Just as I thought. And here we have a save room. Glorious indeed. So, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, until next time.